Hello, welcome back to Diamond Painting 101. So today we're going to talk about storing your drills um, while you're working on a painting, uh, how to store and organize them. So, you know, there's plenty of ways to store them before you start on a painting and store them after when you're not using them or store your leftovers. But when you're working on a painting, you want to be able to access them relatively easily um, because you're going to be switching back and forth between colors, likely. Um, although there are some people who do one color at a time. Um, most people, I think, work in sections and they're switching between colors. So you want to be able to go back and forth and um, you know grab different colors relatively easily. So I'm going to show you um, some of the things that might come with your kit uh, and some of the things you can purchase and some of the things I've seen other people do uh, to store their drills in such a way that they can easily access them to uh, work on a painting. So probably the cheapest uh, way that you can store them is with the baggies that come in a kit. Um, I found that most manufacturers though do not send enough baggies. Um, they'll send a few, uh, mainly in case like the bags break I think it's for, but not enough to actually store all of them. Um, also the baggies that come with the kits are frankly terrible. Um, the Ziplocs on them don't work well, um, they tear easily. Um, so you can use these, but really don't, 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 don't use these, just say no. Just say no to terrible Ziploc bags. Um, if you want to use baggies, um, because they are a really inexpensive option, um, instead run to your local Michaels or Walmart um, or Amazon and actually buy good craft bags. Uh, Michaels has these in three different sizes for um, three dollars a package tops and they hold the each bag holds anywhere between a hundred to three hundred baggies depending on the size of the baggie so for the larger size baggies I think you only get a hundred uh, these I want to say it was two or three hundred in the bag um, and then there's a, a middle size as well these the the Ziploc on them is a lot sturdier, it's a lot easier to manipulate, and it's a lot harder to tear the edge seams on these baggies. So if you're going to go the route of the baggies, don't use the ones with the red that the manufacturer sends. Actually go grab some good baggies. Um, scrounge in your couch for change if you need to, but um, yeah, buy good baggies. Uh, so that is a way. Um, not the best way by any means. I know some people do it um, and they they think it's fine and great. Um, but I had a really hard time indexing through all these baggies. So I did it for about a hot second before I decided that it wasn't going to work for me. So no baggies. Um, now, there are some people who, you know, because you we spend a lot of money on these kits and so our accessories at times need to be inexpensive so um, I've heard people run into Walmart or GFS has them as well and purchasing condiment cups um, these are just plastic little cups that have a snap-on lid they're typically disposable if you uh, go to a takeout restaurant and you know have something that has a dipping sauce that's the, the dipping sauce would come in one of those condiment cups so really inexpensive and disposable um, those you can write on the lid with a marker and it doesn't matter because um, they're cheap. So I know Walmart carries them, Gold, uh, Gordon Food Service carries them. I had some. I don't know what happened to them. I was going to show you them, sorry. Um, but you'll just have to take my word for it. It works. Um, the problem with them is they take a lot of room though because um, they're big uh, and our drills are small. Typically you don't need that big of a thing. So um, you have to have enough room to store the drills if you are working on a canvas that has a lot of colors. Um, and typically, most of our canvases have between 30 to 45 colors. So that can pick up a lot of room, even the smallest cups that they have. So um, keep that in mind when you're thinking of that. Uh, another easy, cheap way are these little things. Um, Michaels carries these. I think I found these at Five Below. Um, they came in like a package of 10. 
uh, for maybe two or three dollars and in two or three different sizes as well. Um, so these can be convenient, especially if you have like a lot of a certain color. So uh, I think the next, the other size that comes with it is a little larger. So um, that's good for storing beads that you have different quantities of. Um, these just have a snap on lid. But as you see, I'm working here, it can be difficult to get off. So this can be a problem if this is full of drills and you can't get this cap off, um, chances are when it goes, you're gonna do this and they're gonna go flying. Um, so this can be a great option, an inexpensive option. Use with caution because picking up drills off your floor, especially if you have pets, not a fun activity. I can't recommend it. So, um, but that is something that you can do. Many people use them and enjoy them. Um, so then this is something that we see a lot, um, especially when we're shopping for diamond paintings. Um, Cause these are advertised as being used specifically for diamond paintings. Um, it's that it comes in a box and it has all these little containers inside of it. Um, you open it up and and this is what you get on the inside. And all of these containers are attached, um, but they have individual lids. So you can stack this um, all together right on the tops, the DMC number, the symbol, those kinds of things. Um, these work really, really good, um, except for a couple things. As you use them over time, and you'll see this one, this one is a new set. I've actually never used this. It came in a kit that I bought that had some larger trays, and I was purchasing it for the larger trays, not this. Um, but sometimes these don't close all as well as they should. Um, and the more you use them, the more they loosen up these lids. And what happens is because they're all connected, um, you pull one out to get the color that you're gonna use, you drop it. Um, if the lids have come loose and they pop open, they're all gonna pop open. So now not only do you have one color spilled, you have four colors potentially spilled and mixed together. Um, so that can kind of make you wanna curl up in a ball and cry. Um, so while these are good, use with caution, um, you know, make sure that your lids are still working well, that they're closing well, unlike this one and that one, um, and that it's in working order when you use it. So, and the next thing is this little baby. And you can actually see I have drills in here. I have symbols paint, uh, marked on the top of it. Um, I use this as a travel container. I told you um, in the last video about the pens that I often will have a small diamond painting that I take with me places. Um, and those smaller paintings tend to only have a few colors in them. So this works great for that because it's small. It holds, what, eight, eight colors. Um, and I can throw it in my thing. Um, it works really good, but again, the drawbacks, um, you got to make sure your lids are still working tight, same as the other one, because if I drop this, all of my colors are going to be mixed together. Um, the other drawback of this setup is that these little channels, sometimes if I'm pouring in and I over, you know, if I, I pour out into my tray, I'm done using them, so I go to pour it back in. If I'm not really careful, um, sometimes the drills get stuck in these little channels and they're uh, bare to get back out, um, especially if it goes up under there. So uh, not the greatest, um, but I use it. I it's, It works really good for what I use it for. Uh, if you have a painting that's got a lot of colors, probably not the one that you're going to want to use. And then this. Um, and you can see it's still in the package. I got a whole bunch of these at 
Michael's on sale. So I haven't opened this one, so we will open it together. Um, so I think these run, I can't remember um, what the full price was, but I want to say 8 to $10 maybe, um, maybe less. Uh, I, I got them at Michael's. Um, I call them Tic Tac storage containers because they look like Tic Tac boxes to me. So when you pop them open um, up here, they've got a little opening like a Tic Tac box. Um, these work really well. Again, you do have to make sure that that opening isn't loosening up over time. Um, the advantage is they're not all connected together. So you're only pulling the one that you need to use out of the container. So if I drop this one, I'm only dropping this one. I don't have to then undo a billion container or uh, sort a billion different colors of drills. Um, unless of course you dump the whole box of them onto the floor and they all pop open. Um, these Pouring back into this little hole is not easy to do. You definitely need one of these, and you need to be very careful. The ones with the bigger spouts, the trays with the bigger spouts, aren't going to work as well. Um, you can pop that off um, to make it a little bit easier, but it's still kind of a narrow container. Um, another drawback is they're not big. So while it's going to hold smaller packs of drills, if you have... Uh, 20,000 310s, um, you're going to take up the whole case of with black drills. So, um, But you get a lot of them in a container. If this is uh, 24 of these little Tic Tac containers in, in a set. They're relatively inexpensive. They hold well. Um, they travel well. So this is a really good option. Now, last but my favorite. Um, this is my go-to. This is the one I use all of the time. This uh, is a container. I also got this at Michael's in the same sale that I got the Tic Tac containers. Um, it came with a lot more in here than what you see. Um, it comes with, I think it's 82 different containers. There's three sizes. There's two of these big ones, a whole bunch of these medium size ones, um, and then also a whole bunch of these teeny tiny ones. Um, the teeny tiny ones hold, I believe, eight packages of drills of the two the two hundred packs. Um, the medium size ones hold twelve, and the large ones hold sixty two. That's if I'm remembering correctly. Um, at one point, I counted how many each of them hold, so I would know. Um, as you can see here, as I'm picking some um, hang tack out of the handle, the handle can also be used for storage for certain things, like I keep my little cleaner for pens that I showed you in there. Um, some of the smaller drill pens will fit in there. This one's a little bit longer one. Um, but you can actually use this to stash some things in. Um, you can set this up, so depending on how many colors you have in a project, you can set this up differently because it does come with so many extras. Um, I'll keep some empties in here just to keep things from sliding around. Um, but if you have more colors that you have like 12 packages of, um, you can use more of these medium sized containers. Um, if you don't need as many, if it's a smaller project and you have a ton of ones that have just a few bags, you can use the smaller ones. Um, it also came with a little, a little scoop, which I have in my, my big container that I keep the three tons in. Um, my, the smaller containers that come in here, I just pour out of into the tray, but this big container pouring out of it, I'd, I'd make a mess. So I use a little scoop to scoop up my drills and put them in my tray. Um, these are really, really easy to pour back into when you've got your tray full. Um, you just pop open the top and just pour it back in. Now, sometimes these have, I don't know if you can see it, these have a little gap. They don't close particularly well along the edges. Um, but 
I've never actually had that gap be large enough that a drill could fit through. So I've never, I've never lost any drills in a closed container. Um, it doesn't feel when you first get them like this is going to keep holding. It feels like it's going to get loose. But I've used this box through three or four projects now, and the boxes, the lids are still as tight as they were the day I got them. Um, so I love it. And as you can see, I write, and I, I mentioned this in one of the earlier episodes, I write with a Sharpie marker right on my box. Um, and then when I'm done with a project, I put them all in baggies to save, just in case I have another project that comes missing drills. Um, and then I just take a cotton ball with alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it, and I wipe that right off, um, and it comes off no problem. Um, you can also use nail polish remover, but be super, super careful. Uh, nail polish remover is safe on this type of plastic, but if you have this this type of plastic, the shiny type, like these are made out of, it will eat it. So um, if you're not sure, test a small spot that you don't care about um, to make sure that the nail polish remover won't eat your plastic. Um, but it is safe on these, the, the kind of cloudier types of plastic. Um, but I just use alcohol because it won't eat anything. So. Um, and they clean off really nice and and this this is my love now you can label uh different ways um i talked about using tape in in one of the earlier videos um this is washi tape and it's pretty uh and it's um comes in all sorts of different patterns and colors uh you can use washi tape and put it on your thing and right on there and then you just have to peel it off um, washi tape is real low tack though so if you're handling these a lot it tends to peel up uh, you can do the same with scotch tape painters tape uh, for me it was just fiddly and a pain in the butt and it was something that took longer for me to be able to start my painting as I was messing around with putting tape on containers and labeling it all so I just like this way better but you do you I, it's, you know it's, if you have the washi tape it certainly looks probably prettier than mine does so um, so that's an option I've seen people also use labels there are um, kits that come with labels oh, I thought I had a, a pack of them out but they I don't um, like just small um, square labels like you might see at a rummage sale with prices on them um, I've seen people use those um, if they leave sticky behind sticky again comes off with alcohol acetone um, so that's a way to label them but it is very important to label your containers um, with the symbol uh, whether or not you want to label them with the DNC number that's up to you but you need to have that symbol on your containers Otherwise, you are going to spend a whole lot of time figuring out what container goes to what symbol. So you can buy label makers that will print out these symbols. I use my negligible artistic talent to just try and recreate them. And some of these symbols get crazy. Um, like this one is a music note. Um, this one is a double-ended arrow. But... Who cares if you can't recreate them perfectly? Nobody's judging this but you. So draw it so that you know what it is um, and put it on your thing. I don't think it's possible to find a label maker that it prints out every single one of these symbols that I've seen on some of these canvases. There are some of them that get downright dirty. So um, good luck finding that in a label maker. Um, so, so yeah, just, you know, go ahead, draw them on. Uh, as long as you know what symbol it corresponds to, you're good. You're golden. It doesn't have to look beautiful. So, um, so I think that's it for this episode. There's some uh, storage ideas for how to keep your drills while you're working on a canvas um, some different things for you to try and you know I'm sure there are other things out there I know I've seen different ways on the Facebook groups which by the way if you want to learn more about painting with diamonds there are many 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 Facebook groups out there uh, just do a search 
uh, in the Facebook search bar for paint with diamonds or diamond painting and you're gonna come up with a whole bunch of them um, those groups are filled with tons of different ideas um, so you know if you're really struggling to figure out a way to store your drills before after or during or um, make a diamond painting pen for yourself or something like that go find a group um, find your tribe and those lovely ladies will help you so um, but yeah so I know that there are different ways out there so you know look around go uh, shop the dollar stores uh, look around the internet um, walk through Michael's bead store section and I'm sure you'll find something that works perfectly for you um, so if you have any questions about anything that I've shown you uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section and I will do my best to answer it um, and until next time happy diamond painting